This is the first presentation on this class, which is object-oriented PHP. My name is Steve Perry, and you can see my email there, steveperrymail at yahoo.com. PHP was not originally created to be an object-oriented language. The first time any objects were available at all in PHP started with the first PHP 5 release back in 2004. PHP, I think, would be more accurately described as an object-capable language instead of an object-oriented language. There are more true object-oriented languages like Java. PHP is not that way. The objects are an add-on. So you may use objects with PHP, but you obviously don't have to. Even with objects in PHP, we're going to have to use a little bit of procedural code to get things to run. This class is going to introduce you to nearly all of the PHP object-oriented constructs that you're going to need. There will be a lot of video demonstrations given, where you'll see the code, I'll run the code, and the code will be explained in some detail. A little bit about me. I started working full-time in information technology all the way back in 1977 as a mainframe COBOL programmer. Moved into Windows programming and database technologies in 1994 and started web development in 1997. I became a full-time instructor at a community college in California in 2001 and have taught for a number of colleges and universities part-time as well, as well as doing corporate training and training for infinite skills. The subjects that I teach are PHP, Java, JavaScript with jQuery, Ajax technology, and Oracle SQL, MySQL, and the standard HTML, CSS information, and even just a little bit of Perl from time to time. I have a master's in education with an emphasis on teaching adults in online settings. That's from the University of Phoenix in 2004, and my bachelor's degree is in mathematics from Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago all the way back in 1978. But truly, my real education has been on the job and doing teaching. There is no better way to learn than to teach. 